I think what we're starting to see a little bit is the uh, there, you, there used to be a little bit clearer lines between product and design and user research and a little bit more tangible role descriptions. And I think what we're starting to see is as product managers are becoming more savvy and, you know, I, I'm sure you believe in kind of that T-shaped product management, right? Which is like, you know, strong breadth, right? You know, whether it's business acumen, technology, but then you have something you're really deep in, right? Whether it's you come from computer science and you're a technologist and, or what I'm starting to see more and more is product people coming in with strong emphasis on design and understanding user experience and understanding the need to go be with customers and create that empathy. And so you're starting to see the convergence of some of these roles, right? Where like user research, what is that if we're the PM team out running experiments? And if we're out running experiments, who's really feeding the design requirements? And, and so I think the lines are, so that trend is turning into some blurred lines. Um, and so I think where some people get frustrated by it, and I think it causes a little bit of like, who's on first, who's doing what, I think what it's doing is just raising the game. I think, you know, again, like, product managers having now abilities to do what, so for example, back in the day, you were reliant on an engineer to put, uh, to get analytics. You were reliant on an engineer to do a modal or a, an onboarding you know, flow. You are reliant on um, designers to do early prototypes and sketches and thinking. And now, you know, speaking of our platform and others, we can do all that. So the product manager has been trained um, it's again a role now at scale or getting closer to scale, and so we have more we have more skills and we have more tools, and so I think that is is a trend that's causing some of that maybe not necessarily contention but a little bit of misunderstanding about who does what and and so even in our team we we've kind of come out with this table that says there's these primary and secondary drivers or there's drivers and then heavy contributors and. And there are times where a product manager is going to drive something and a, and a designer is going to be a secondary person on that and be very, very much part of that, but they're not leading it, you know? And, and so we, we're trying to embrace and we're trying to define what this modern team looks like. And for us, the modern team also brings in data science. And so, so it's kind of phasing out some of the old, drawing a little bit, uh, kind of some newer crisper lines going forward kind of the, you know, everybody being challenged to do better and getting more technical and more and kind of elevating their craft as well as bringing, bringing in more of the data science into that product, that modern product team. So in all of those things are starting to converge. I think it's very positive, but it is, it's a cause, it's causing teams to pause and talk about it and work things out. And if it goes unsaid, it leads into frustration, stepping on of toes, redundancy, lack of communication, frustration, all of that. So I think that's something to watch out for, but I ultimately see it as a thing that's positive.